The White House said Biden will speak with transatlantic leaders on a phone call Friday. That's why I asked Senator, uh, Senator uh, Secretary Blinken to go to the United Nations and make his statement today. He'll lay out what that path is. I've laid out a path to Putin as well, uh, on, I think, Sunday. And so there is a path. There is a way through this. In an increasingly volatile context between the United States, which now fears an attack from Ukraine in the next few days, and Russia, which announced on the contrary new military withdrawals, Washington and Moscow made confrontation at the UN Security Council. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken later echoed Biden, telling the UN Security Council that the world can expect to see Russia attack Ukraine within days. And here today, we are laying it out in great detail with the hope that by sharing what we know with the world, we can influence Russia to abandon the path of war and choose a different path. Sergei Vershinin, Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Russian Federation, disputed claims that Moscow is sidestepping its obligations because there is no mention of the Russian Federation in the Minsk agreements. We increasingly believe that the implementation of the Minsk agreement is not something that is in the plans of the Ukrainian neighbors. In response, Antony Blinken described implementation of the Minsk agreements as a goal we all share. Rosemary De Carlo, Undersecretary General for Political and Peace Building Affairs, acknowledged reports of fresh ceasefire violations across the contact line just hours earlier. The reports of fresh ceasefire violations across the contact line over the past several hours. If verified, these violations must not be allowed to escalate further. We call on all sides to exercise maximum restraint at this time. Moscow insists on the withdrawal of all U.S. forces and armaments deployed in Central and Eastern Europe, Southeast Europe and the Baltic states and also expects proposal from the Westerns to renounce any future enlargement of NATO, Ukraine in particular.